Good evening all of you. Am I audible to all of you? Please mention. Audio, video clear. I'm not able to see whether the video is working. Just a minute. If you are able to hear, please mention in the chat that the audio and video is clear so that I can know whether the live is working well. Okay, now it is clear, I guess. Please mention, yeah, for the last five minutes, I was checking. There was some technical issue that I was sorting out. Okay, fine. So, if, uh, if everything is clear, just mention in the chat, all of you. Audio, video, everything perfect. So, welcome back to the second lecture in the complete course on GATE 2022 General Aptitude. It's a free YouTube live series which will run for the next maybe 30 days or so. The entire general aptitude syllabus will be covered by me in this upcoming days. Today we are starting with the first topic. Today's topic is probability. Okay. So uh, the topic is probability, which is one of the hardest topic for many students, but we are trying to make it as simple as possible in this, uh, in this lecture. So, for the new people, you can be part of our learning community. In the description of this video also, you can get the link to be part of our Telegram group and Telegram channel. And the WhatsApp group, if you want to be part of, you can text to this number and be part of the WhatsApp group also. And the further materials also, you will be getting there. Okay, and one more thing. Uh, if you are liking this initiative or liking this um, lecture series or this free course for general aptitude, Please like this video and share this video to more and more people. If this course is for all BTEC and MSc aspirants preparing for your upcoming GATE exam, GATE 2022 or even the next GATE exam if you are preparing for, definitely this course will be equally useful. Whichever science stream or whichever arts, sorry, whichever BTEC stream aspirant you are, you can access this class. So please share this video to maximum people. We will start the lecture in one minute. By that time, share this video to maximum people. And more free classes of mine are available in Unacademy platform also. In Unacademy, I teach in CSAR UGC net category. And I take classes for CSAR net and gate. So you can get the details of that also here. And Vedic math classes of mine are also available in Unacademy platform. Uh, Divyansh, yeah, after the class, the recording also will be available. Recording of this class also will be available. But when you are attending live, you can have live interaction and live doubt clearance also. And yesterday we discussed about the general aptitude syllabus and the overview of general aptitude. These are the four topics. And we are starting with quantitative aptitude section. And we are starting with the first chapter probability. And tomorrow 6 p.m. we will be discussing permutation combination. I am not starting in a traditional way with numbers and then building ratio and proportion. I am trying to practically in limited time how to, um, how to learn general aptitude topics in brief or in limited time to learn maximum. That is what I am focusing on this course. So, non-verbal ability, quantitative aptitude is what I am starting first. Quantitative aptitude syllabus we discussed yesterday already. And here, the probability is a topic we are starting today. Okay. So, I think without much delay, let us start. Yes, Samarjit, these lectures will be enough for GATE 2022 general aptitude. Not yet, Shubhajit. Welcome back, Shubhajit. Happy to see all my students who are attending my classes in an academy and other platform also being here. Happy to see you all. Okay, so let us start. Probability, basic facts. I am summarizing some of the major facts in this flashcard. 
and I'm going to teach you briefly the theory also. Let me tell you one thing. More than uh, by hearting theory or more than uh, mugging up a lot of theory, I will be focusing on with question making you understand things. So first I am showing you theory for your satisfaction because some people feel satisfied when they see some theory that they feel that the uh, lesson is good. For those people I will be showing you some theory but my major focus will be to make you understand the concept because concept is the king. So to make you understand the concept I will be trying to take the previous year question papers and questions related to probability and understand each of the concepts in detail. Okay. Uh, depend with our yesterday's PDF, I will update in one or two days. Uh, this weekend, actually, uh, the problem is daily. I have almost six hours of classes for different lectures. So, not getting time to update the further study materials and all. So, anyway, let us uh, start. So, probability, what is basic definition of probability? I hope all of you know. Required number divided by total number, simply speaking. Or number of successful outcome divided by total possible outcome. For example, when you toss a coin, probability of getting head will be 1 out of 2. For example, Virat Kohli is tossing a coin and what is the chance that he will win the toss if he is calling heads? It will be 1 by 2 because 1 head out of 2 choices. So, 1 out of 2 choices. So, 1 by 2. So, that is required number divided by total number. And always remember this idea, the probability line. Probability will vary from 0 to 1 only. Not more than 1, not less than 0. And that is what we can call as probability line. Like number line, we can call probability line. Maximum probability, this is the range of probability that maximum it can be 1, minimum it can be 0. So, when some probability of something is zero, that is called impossible event. That cannot happen. For example, what is the probability of getting a number more than six when you throw a dice? Dice, all of you know, right? When you play Snake and Ladder or Ludo, one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, sides are there. So, probability of getting more than 6, there is no number more than 6 on a dice. So, definitely probability of getting a number more than 6 will be 0. It is impossible event. And what is an example of a sure event? For the, with the example of probability, sorry, throwing dice itself we can say. What is the probability of getting a number less than 7 when you throw a dice? What it will be? Yeah, comment in the chat so that we can have some interaction. Even if the questions are simple, comment in the chat. Vasfa, you can be part of the telegram channel or telegram group. There I will update the PDF of these classes also. Okay, so probability of getting a number less than 7 will be definitely 1, na? Yeah, Shitosh, that's a good question. What is the probability of falling a fan? That depends upon many, uh, many factors. <laughs> how, how, the quality of the fan and the, uh, how much um, strength is there for the wall. Yeah, actually, uh, we believing that uh, the fan will not fall on us, that is actually a superstition we are having. But we have... A strong belief that superstition is correct. Okay. Okay. So, let us come back to our topic. So, when you throw a dice, what is the probability that you get a number less than 7? Definitely 1, no? Because 100% sure it is. You will get a number less than 7. Because all numbers on the dice are less than 7. Or, another thing I want to tell you, this probability, if you think it is tough for you, if you think it is tough for you, I will say whenever you see the word probability, try to replace it by the word chance because that have a little more practical understanding to it. What is the chance of winning a game? What is the chance of beating a person? What is the chance of passing an exam? What is the chance of clearing JRF? What is the chance of clearing gate? So, that have a practical understanding. Na? So, 
replacing the word probability if you are afraid of the word probability itself try to replace it by the word chance then it may be easier to understand and when you say chance in real life we don't say it in between 0 to 1 we say between 0 percentage to 100 percentage because we say it in percentage that is just another units now for example when we say that when you toss a coin there is 50 percentage chance to get a head we say 50 percent chance that 50 percent and this half is the same probability of getting a head is half when we say in probability in fractions or when we say probability is 50 percentage both are same half is corresponding to 50 percent so that is also a good thing that you can convert probability into percentage and analyze that also will psychologically if you fear this topic that will help you to relate to real life examples real life things because percentages we see daily na, or de we understand percentage more clearly than this this decimal point values so that also is just a uh, trick i am saying that if you want you can convert it into percentage and then analyze that may also help you in some questions at least okay so that means the sure event is one means in percentage we say 100 percent sure it cannot be more than 100 percent no? yeah we say exaggerating we say i will get i am 110 percent sure that i will clear gate 110 percent you cannot be sure you can only be only be maximum 100 percent sure or the probability of you winning can be one only it cannot be more than one it cannot be 1.1 so this probability line all of you understood i guess and if a probability of something is half that is called it have an even chance for example when you toss a coin head have an even chance one by two chance half of it okay that are just terminologies don't worry too much about it and more terminologies when you may see or more terminologies you have already seen in school days. Uh, Ashutosh, impossible even means not possible to happen. For example, when you toss a coin or when you throw a dice, what is the probability of getting the number 10? There is no number 10 on dice now. So, definitely it is an impossible event. Probability will be zero for an impossible event. Okay, then what is sample space sample point events just for your understanding i am saying with the example of rolling a dice or throwing a dice itself we can say sample space means what all can happen what all can happen when you throw a dice one two three four five six can occur now so that is called sample space you already know i guess and what is sample point each of these elements are called sample point each one of the elements are called sample points and event event is actually in every question of probability we see the event and we find the probability of an event so event is actually one or more of these sample points are called events for example getting an odd number when you roll a dice there one three five are odd numbers so that is three sample points so one or more sample points constitute an event again don't uh, write it down or anything just understand this let us move forward then different types of event briefly we will discuss and then discuss some questions and learn more theory and more concepts with the questions itself again the chat is open you can mention in the chat whatever doubts or whatever uh, concerns you are having while attending so anyway different types of events i'll just give a brief summary different types of events intersection events or intersection of two things intersection events means for example when you uh, when you throw a dice the number should be even and the number should be less than less than 3 even and less than 3 that is intersection events two events are combined together that is a event is even number less than 3 is b event intersection of those two is represented by a intersection b again don't worry too much about this terminologies as i am saying union events you also know what is union set theory you have learned i guess all of you so a union b either in a or in b or in both for example when you throw a dice probability of and we are defining an event an odd number less than 4 that means the number should be odd number 
or it should be or uh, even we are defining the number should be less than 4 or it should be an even number that means less than 4 means you can take 1 2 3 odd number means it can be 1 3 5 so this is a set this is b set so a union b means 1 2 3 obviously you have to take because all elements of a you a you need all elements of b also you need and both in a union b also both in a and b also you need that means 5 also will come because 2 1 and 3 already written you don't have to write it again so this is union event or union of two things so just to make you remember what is union i just mentioned then what is the difference between intersection and union or what are the properties of that probability of a union b what it is when it is mutually exclusive what is mutually exclusive i will define now so a union b means either a or b or both happening a intersection b means both a and b happening at the same time simultaneously we can say again 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 i am saying if you are not that good at these things if you are not get remembering these things from school days forget it no problem when we discuss question all these things will be cleared the terms are such or how you expressed in school days same way if you remember that is not necessary the concept should be clear next thing is complement events what is complement events or what is complement of an event that also both are same just two different ways we are saying for example, even number complement when you throw a dice will be odd number because it is total minus even number. That is odd number only. Na? Or in other words, A, A complement and probability of A if you know, 1 minus probability of A will be probability of A complement. Like when you toss a coin, probability of head is 1 by 2, probability of not getting head will be 1 minus 1 by 2. Or when you toss two coins at the same time, probability of getting two head at the same time, if you find, probability of getting at least one head or at least one tail will be one minus no tail or one minus two heads. Okay, that we will discuss with questions and make you understand in detail. So, this probability of A complement is one minus probability of A also, remember. And uh, equally likely events means two events, same chance. For example, probability of getting an head and prob probability of getting head, probability of getting tail, both are equal in a fair coin case. So that is equally likely events. So these are just terms that you should remember or if you don't remember also the concepts, if you remember that is fine. Now what is dependent and what is independent? We will discuss this with examples and I will explain what is the meaning of this rule. This is called multiplication rule. What is the meaning of that? With examples, I will tell you. First, just as a warm up question, we will discuss a very simple question. Make a try, all of you. Happy to see more and more people joining the lecture. A warm-up question, all of you try. With this, we will understand what is dependent and independent. Very good. Option C, many of you got it. Yes, option C is totally correct because this is an example of an independent event. How the word independent is relevant here, I will explain. A fair coin, fair coin means normal coin, a coin with both sides having equal chance or equally likely event of getting head, getting tail. Is tossed eight times independently. Independently means first toss result is not going to affect second toss result simply speaking or any other toss result they all are independent tosses what is the probability that the third to toss results in head third toss or fourth toss or 10 toss or 20th toss or whatever toss when you are tossing a coin all are independent so definitely third toss probability will be just 1 by 2 here 8 times tossing have no relevance in finding the final answer 
third toss is just a random toss and that have nothing to do with the other tosses or this is independent from other tosses are you understanding so that is called independent then you may be thinking what is dependent then before that one more example of an independent event try this try this previous question was a coin based question let's see a dice based question from which we can understand whether it is dependent or independent all of you try to the new students daily free classes will happen at the same time tomorrow's topic is permutation combination if you are liking this initiative please like this video and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get update whenever i go live whenever update i update any free videos daily at 3 pm you get a free video one one minute or two minute video on general aptitude section of CSCR net exam and other competitive exams also you can try you can watch that also in this channel as a recorded video you can watch it okay option a will be the correct answer here so here a fair dice was thrown three times and outcome was repeatedly six repeatedly six so what if it is thrown again what is the probability of getting six first three times six occurred or whatever occurred the next time getting six six is one out of six things now in a dice six is just one of the six sides one two three four five six six is just one of the six sides so required outcome is one out of total six so just one by six will be the answer one by six will be the answer so option a one by six is the correct answer all of you understood some of you got option c option c is wrong because the first three things already happen you cannot change that reality already yet first three are six already that already happened and it is a fair die fair die means definitely it is independent first three times what occurred is not going to affect what is happening next are you all understanding so definitely probability of getting a six on a random throw that is actually the question first three times what occurred is just to divert your attention this happens many a times they will give dummy data to divert your attention like in a crime scene there will be false clues that you should not fall for so anyway one by six option a will be the correct answer hope this is clear to all of you if so let us discuss a gate pyq itself and understand more about dependency and independency gate 2017 problem this is please try this all of you and comment what you got as answer previous question those of you have doubt may ek bar hindi mein explain karna try karuga first three bar six aya first three bar six aya to wo already sure event hai na first three bar six aya uska probability one hai because already six occurred agla bar six aane ka chance kitna hai six just one out of six sides hai na to uska probability one by six hoga kyunki six is just one out of six sides so the probability on the fourth throw that is not going to affect sorry that is not going to be affected by the first three toss or first three throws at all is liye 1 by 6 hoga answer so option a was the answer for the previous question so this question any answers very simple question where the same idea is needed here also a couple has two children the probability that both children are boys if the older one is boy just like the previous question first three throws six hogeya you cannot change that reality same way first child boy ho gaya. you cannot change that reality the first child was a boy if so now the question is asking what is the probability that both children are boys both children are boys the only possibility is second child also should be boys so that boy and boy two children are boys and this is independent now this one boy is not getting affected by previous outcome at all yeah actually if you learn uh, life science more you may have heard about that also x y x x chromosome that is just random it is not like 
first one boy so uh, our chromosomes will rem uh, remember that last time it was a boy let us let us make it girl this time no so this is an independent event it is clearly an independent event so second child to be boy the chance is just one out of two boy or girl yeah that is another um, confusion we have boy and girl is only the gender that we should define yeah the maybe in competitive exams also political correctness is to be checked more anyway for the current scenario we can just think that they are considering two genders boy and girl so probability of getting a boy is 1 by 2 because boy or girl probability of getting a boy 1 by 2 hoga equal chance hoga dono ka so 1 by 2 hoga answer b because first one being boy that is sure event already that happened so sure event so 1 into half also you can say yeah what is multiplication rule we will discuss now did you all understood this why probability of this is option c 1 by 2 so here also this is also an example of an independent event first thing what happened is not going to affect what is happening next so if that is also clear let us see another gate exam problem try this Read the question carefully. It may take some time to understand. It's a lengthy question. Make a try. Each question we are learning more concepts. Yes, Pratik. Very good. Yeah, you people also can comment your perspective about the question and how you solve the question in the comments so that it is a different learning experience for all. Depend with a half because boy, girl, dono ka equal chance hai na? So boy hone ka half chance, girl hone ka half chance. Some of you already got it right. Very good. Very good. Continue all of you. Continue trying. So if you didn't got. Yes. Option B is the correct answer. So I will explain the question first. An unbiased coin. Unbiased means not biased towards any side. That is a fair coin itself. An unbiased coin is tossed six times in a row and four different such trials are conducted. That means 24 times it was tossed. That is the idea. 24 times it was tossed. Six times tossing for four times. Four different uh, set of experiments you have done. Likewise, you can think. Four such trials are conducted. One trial implies six tosses. That is why. One trial implies six tosses. Likewise, Four trials. So, 4 into 6, 24 times it was tossed. So, these are the outcome of that 24 tosses, but they are hiding the outcome of the last two tosses in the last trial. And we need to guess what can happen in that or what have higher chance to happen. H stands for head and T stands for tail. Following other observations from the fourth trial, which statement describing the last two to coin tosses, that is these two, of the fourth trial has the highest probability of being correct? Has the highest probability of being correct? That is the question. So, here the options also can help you because from the options you have to choose now, which have highest possibility or highest chance. I told you, convert the word probability to chance and understand it will be easier. So, kitna chance hai? Yes, charo option ka. Let us check. And you can convert it into percentage also for better understanding. So, these two, first of all, again the idea of independency is coming. When you are tossing a coin, coin cannot remember what happened now so that the next time we can change it or we can support the first trial. 
this is an unbiased coin so definitely it is not biased towards any side or one side have no higher chance than the other head milne ka chance tail milne ka chance equally equally likely hai head and tail so definitely these patterns don't try to find a pattern in it and repeat it here that is a mistake some people make in this questions in these kinds of questions these are independent because the question is saying it is unbiased coin so first trial aisa hua second trial this way happened third trial this way happened so don't think that this is head 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 then tail tail should come so that the balance of the universe is maintained don't think like thanos that uh, the balance of the universe should always be maintained no the coin cannot remember what happened before so definitely the next two anything can happen there comes what all can happen when you toss coin two coins when you toss forget about what happened before as it is unbiased coin that is definitely independent event itself what happening here is not affected by what happened before it so definitely here these two what all can happen both can be head that is a possibility are you understanding both can be head first one head second one tail is possible first one tail second one head is possible both being tail is also possible when two coins are tossed these are the four outcomes possible na or the sample space or these are the four sample points just making you familiarize with the theory we discussed briefly so these four have equal chance also it is not like this have higher chance than this no all have equal chance ye ho sakta hai ye ho sakta hai ye ho sakta hai ye ho sakta hai ye sab ka chance equal hai equal matlab kitna percentage wise diya to sirf ye char cases hai so definitely sab ka chance 25 percentage hoga na as i told try to convert it into percentage so that it is more practical to understand if you write 25 percentage or if you write 1 by 4 if you write 0.25 all are same itself so 25 percent chances therefore all these four to happen with this understanding can you look each of the options look at each of the options with this understanding two tails will occur that is tail tail na? what is the chance for that 25 percent chances there independent event so 25 percent chances there one head and one tail will come one head and one tail means head tail is a possibility or tail head is also a possibility isn't it this is also one head this is also one head that means this chance also can be counted this chance also can be counted iska chance bhi chahiye iska chance bhi chahiye so total chance kitna hai 25 nahi 50 percentage hai because the order matters here one head and one tail means head and tail tail and head both are possible so dono mila ke 50 percent chance hai or there comes the addition rule significance probability of a plus probability of b will be probability of a union b as it is disjoint events or mutually exclusive events about that we will discuss in between so anyway 50 percent chances there for option b to happen now option c what will happen two head occur two head occur this is the only way the chances 25 percentage for that and one head followed by one tail one head followed by one tail means the second case head followed by tail means tail head is not okay head and tail only should come strictly head tail only that is ht only that is 25 percentage now tell me from these four options which statement describing the last two co last two coin tosses of the fourth trial has the highest probability 50 percentage is the highest probability so option b is the answer but now all of you understood the difference between dependent and independent events yeah i haven't discussed any example of dependent events all these are independent events and most of the questions are from independent events itself dependent event questions comes but very less in number compared to independent events hope this is also clear so then we will discuss more practical examples from gate 2021 itself we will discuss a question try this question 
and with this we will discuss the multiplication rule also make a try all of you so if you attended today 11 am class yeah my free classes are two lectures daily one at 6 pm one at 11 am 11 am free classes is in the unacademy platform either in the unacademy youtube channel or in the unacademy special class platform in the description of this video you can get the details of that also or be part of my telegram channel or whatsapp group to get daily updates of my regular free classes so tomorrow 11 am also we will be continuing with probability if you want in the unacademy platform 11 am free class will be there so there we will discuss more probability problems also All of you try this. Some of you already got the answers, very good. Okay, let us see whether B option is correct as many of you got. A box contains 15 blue balls and 45 black balls. 15 blue balls are there and 45 black balls are there. So, total 60 balls are there in the box. Practically think in, in, in front of you. This 15 balls and 15 blue balls and 45 black balls. Imagine, then it will be easy to understand this process. So, if two balls are selected randomly, always understand when two balls are selected randomly, obviously that is not together. We cannot take anything anyway together. You are getting a ball and another ball. That way you have to think. That is easy to understand then. Because how much together you take, one ball is coming first and then the next ball. So, that way if you imagine the probability of an outcome in which the first selected is blue. So, you are selecting one ball randomly and then a ball randomly. So, first selected is blue and second selected is black is. So, this thing you have to understand. First selected blue. So, probability of getting a blue and second selected is the black probability of getting a black and this is an example of a dependent event how it is dependent when you take a blue ball that blue ball is missing in the box so that is going to affect the probability of getting a black ball that is an example of a dependent event i will explain so blue ball probability will be kitna blue ball hai 15 blue ball. There are 15 blue ball out of 60 balls. So, probability of getting a blue ball will be 15 out of 60. Is that clear? Because 15 ways you can take out of 60 ways total. Required number divided by total number is probability. Na? So, definitely 15 by 60 will be blue ball probability. Now, think about the black ball probability. Second one black ball. That is where the word with the replacement, without replacement comes. If the question does not say anything, you have to understand that question means it is without replacement. You are not replacing the ball you took. You took a ball, you are putting it in your pocket, you are not giving it back. That way you think. You are taking a blue ball first, na? Aapne ek blue ball liya. Aapne wo wapas nahi kiya. You are putting it, you are taking it and you are not putting it back. So, Probability of getting a blue ball we understood 15 by 60. Now that blue ball is missing in the box. So definitely 14 blue ball or more importantly now 59 balls only are there in the box. Imagine 
you are taking that ball that ball you are not putting it back so 59 balls only are there in that what is the probability of getting black 45 is the required number so 45 out of 59 will be the probability of getting a black when you take the second ball are you all understanding now how these two can be connected yeah that is where the multiplication rule helps probability of a intersection b will be probability of a into probability of b for a dependent case or simply speaking fundamental principle of counting says if one thing can be done in m base another thing can be done in n base both the thing together can be done in m into n base these two things together should happen now nah? the word and you can use the word and if you see and to connect two events understand that you have to use multiplication if you use if you see or connecting two events you have to use addition or simply speaking and is intersection or is addition so anyway black b chai a bl sorry blue b chai a first one blue b chai a and second one black b chai a so 15 by 60 into 45 by 59 will be the answer simplify it when you simplify it you will get this will be for 45 by 4 into 59 45 by 236 is going to be the answer option b 45 by 236 hope all of you understood there are students of different math background that is why i am trying to explain it as simply as possible yes maya without replacement with replacement kuch nahi bole to definitely you have to consider without replacement itself without replacement so that is the difference between dependent event and independent event now you will understand that more independent means for example the ball picking case you are picking a ball you are replacing it again picking it that is independent because the blue ball and the black ball don't have to wait for what happened in the first attempt if you are replacing it because the box is always the same i will show you an example of that also so pick replace pick that is independent that is with the replacement pick pick that is not without replacement if you are picking it like in the question we just discussed now you pick it up and you are not putting it back pick up and again pick up that is indip sorry not independent that is dependent so for example three red ball and three blue ball red and red probability if you want means first one red that reduce the number of balls by one and that reduce the number of red balls by one so that will be two by five later again with question we will discuss more about this itself try this all of you try this Don't forget to like this video. Those of you are getting benefit by this video, please let us know because liking the video definitely according to the YouTube algorithm that will help this video to reach to more and more people and that will help me to launch more lectures or more courses like this in this free platform also. So make sure you share this video to more people, like, make sure you subscribe this channel and make sure you like this video and get updates of the upcoming videos also by doing so. Yeah, tomorrow class will be there uh, saturday sunday class will be there or not tomorrow i will let you know anyway monday to friday for the next one month class will be there saturday sunday classes will let you know on fridays
that is okay Mamda, the recording will be available. Any of you got option A, some of you got option B, let's see which is correct. So box contains three white balls and five black balls. So here there are two difference from the previous question. Let's compare this question with the previous question and understand. In the previous question it was clearly mentioned, sorry, this one. In this previous question it is uh, not mentioned, yeah, it is clearly mentioned without replacement. It is clearly mentioned without replacement. Without replacement means definitely it is dependent because first one number reduced that will affect the probability of the second one. Here it is clearly mentioned with the replacement. That means it is independent event. Whatever you took out, you are putting it back into the box. So the box remains always the same itself. First trial, second trial, always it is the same itself. So that is the first difference. Second difference is here it is told one white and one black ball. One white and one black ball have two possibility. That head and tail question we discussed now. I told you head followed by a tail, head and tail are different things. Head followed by tail means HT only possible. Head and tail means HT possible, TH possible. Same thing here. One white and one black means white and black possible. Probability of that we need. Black and white also possible. Probability of that also we need. Iska bhi chance chahiye, iska bhi chance chahiye. Dono ka chance chahiye matlab this or this. Now you will understand more what I told by and is multiplication or is addition. So try to split the given event into the broader event into narrow events. That is the idea you can use here. So the broader event was one white and one black. We are splitting it into narrow events, white and black or black and white and then separately find these probability with the basic definition of probability and connect them with the multiplication and addition rule or with the fundamental principle of counting. So let us see, white and black milne ka chance kitna hai? Ye box mein kya kya hai? Three white balls hai, white, 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 five black balls hai and you are randomly taking balls. So, first one white and second one black milne ka chance kitna hai? First one white milne ka chance kitna hai? Three white ball, required number three out of total eight number. So, three out of eight for that na? Three out of eight, just like previous question. Now, before taking the second black ball, you are replacing the ball you took. You are very decent that whatever you took, you put it back into the box with the replacement. So now the box have still the same scenario. The box always will look like this. Box always will look like this. Three white ball and five black balls. So now the black ball number will be five number, required number out of total eight number itself. The number will not change. So five by eight, three by eight and five by eight. These two should happen simultaneously. Na? So three by eight into five by eight will be the probability of that to happen. Is this clear to all of you? Please respond whether this is clear or not. But 3 by 8 into 5 by 8, some of you got 15 by 64 as the answer option A, but that is totally wrong. Why? Because black and white is waiting for you. White and black be possible, hai. black and white be possible. Hai na? So black and white is waiting for you. What is the probability of that? First one black, 5 black out of 8 black. Second one white, 3 white out of 8 white. So 5 by 8 into 3 by 8. Yeah, once you understood this, in the next class, permutation combination class, I will tell you. WB can only be rearranged in two factorial ways, two ways. So two times this, if you do also, you can do that. When we discuss permutation combination only, you will understand more about it. Right now, writing separately like this is okay. So this probability also, we need this chance also. We need this chance also. So both the chances we need to add up. So, 3 by 8 into 5 by 8 plus 5 by 8 into 3 by 8. That is 15 by 64 plus 15 by 64. That is 30 by 64. 30 by 64 is going to be 15 by 32. That is option B is the correct answer. Did you all understood this? Why option B is the correct answer and not option A?
ऑप्शन ए कुड हैव बीन द आंसर इफ द क्वेश्चन वाज सेइंग चूसिंग फर्स्ट वन टू बी वाइट एंड सेकंड वन टू बी ब्लैक कंपेयर इट विद द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन दैट इज व्हाई आई एम ट्राइंग टू शो यू सिमिलर क्वेश्चंस टुगेदर दिस वन फर्स्ट वन ब्लू एंड सेकंड वन ब्लैक यू ओनली हैव टू टेक ब्लैक एंड ब्लैक blue and black possibility but here it is white and black so white and black black and white both are possible so hope that is clear to all of you now we will try this question gate 2017 problem actually i need some feedback from all of you this is the first free course in this youtube live so some feedback will be wonderful so probability is a topic that can be taken even for five lectures or six lectures but i am trying to give one lecture so that all topics can be covered if you people are uh, let me know if you want one more lecture on probability or not if so i will try to arrange one more lecture on probability according to your requirement because i don't know exactly the crowd here whether all of you are already good in probability or whether you are beginner in probability so if you can mention that accordingly we will plan one more lecture on probability if possible and tomorrow 11 am in the an academy platform i will be taking a free lecture on probability in the youtube channel of an academy 11 am will be the timing of that so please mention probability how much pro you are in probability or how much more you want to learn from probability actually as per the present notification gate exam will happen uh, 5th february unless omicron cases uh, unless omicron cases is not under control otherwise exam will happen on 5th so we have hardly one month to finish this course also that is why i am trying to spare one lecture for even the tougher topic if you want more lectures let me know on this topic we want one more class okay many of you are saying one more class if so i will do one thing tomorrow's class instead of permutation combination we will take probability itself i think that will be better so that you will have little more clarity on this so that some more types are remaining so tomorrow's link will be same in the chat i will edit the title tomorrow's class will be not permutation combination it will be probability itself probability lecture 2 okay so this question many of you got the answer yes 4 by 15 is totally correct option d 4 by 15 is the correct answer let's discuss how it is 4 by 15 so here again practically think you have three red sock three red sock four green sock and three blue sock in front of you you choose two sock at a at random the probability they are that they are of the same color so if nothing mentioned i told you it is without replacement itself you are not replacing it so you took a sock you are not putting it back into the box that way you have to think now there are three red sock four green sock and three red socks so total 10 socks are there in this box probability that they are of the same color same color there are many things possible na probability of getting red and red that is same color same color they didn't say red and red only the color should be a particular color that is not mentioned so red and red possible hai blue and blue possible hai and green and green also is possible all these three are possible that means we need all these na this or this or this ye bhi possible hai ye bhi chalega ye bhi chalega so ye teeno ka probability separately find karo aur add karo that is the idea how to find it separately red and red initially how many red are there practically think about the box four three red balls hai out of 10 balls so 3 by 10 is the probability of that now second one to be red very careful be very careful question didn't say anything whether you have to replace or not nothing is mentioned so you have to think it is without replacement the red sock you took na you are not putting it back into the box you are keeping it with you you are stealing it just think like that you are not putting it back into the box it belonged so now the box have one red ball less only three red ball sorry two red ball are remaining and moreover 
one sock less so definitely probability of getting second one to be red will be 2 by 9 very simple na no need to involve any other mathematical fact some people make it complicated by using combinations and all the two red red sock can be taken from three red sock in 3c2 that is correct but when we try to simplify 3c2 by 10c2 you are ending up at the same step then why write one extra step it may look smaller but it is not actually smaller logically doing this way is much faster than writing 3c2 by 10c2 plus uh, 3c2 by uh, 4c2 by 10c2 plus 3c2 by 10c2 that is also an approach actually we will discuss more about it in tomorrow's class so 3 by 10 2 by 9 these two can happen simultaneously so 3 by 10 into 2 by 9 and means multiplication so red and red probability will be 3 by 10 into 2 by 9 same way blue and blue probability will be how much three blue balls are there initially now yeah now start from the beginning don't now think that the sock that you have taken out now you are it is still with you no we are again thinking about another parallel reality that can happen blue and blue taking probability so the box now how what it was initially three red four green four green and three blue so probability of getting blue and blue just like red red and red it is 3 by 10 into 2 by 9 itself because blue socks are also 3 in number initially so 3 by 10 because 3 out of 10 uh, blue socks are there but after taking one sock that sock is missing so two blue ball out of nine balls totally nine socks sorry nine socks and finally green and green probability will be what four green ball out of ten four green sock out of ten socks are there once you took that one sock three sock only remaining out of nine sock these two happening simultaneously will be product of that because initially four green sock tha. You have taken a sock, you are not putting it back. So now three socks only are there in green in color and totally socks are only nine in number now. So it's four by 10 into three by nine. We need all these probabilities now. So we need to add all these chances, add all these chances. 90 will be the LCM because denominator is all 90. Six plus six plus 12. That is 24 by 90 is the answer. 24 by 90 when you cancel the common terms you will get 4 by 15 option D. Once you practice this well many of these steps can be done in one go. Like red and red we see red and red blue and blue both are same value. When you get 6 by 90 12 by 90 directly you can say plus 12 by 90, 24 by 90. So, hope this is clear, all of you. I will give you a practice question of this type. Please try this as a homework question and you can comment on this video, the solution of this and the answer of this question. So, I will go with one more type of question and finish today's class. Okay, this type also, this is a type uh, which we need a little more time to understand. One second. Okay, so this we will start tomorrow. If we start today, it will be taking at least 20, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, now I will just brief out some more theory of this probability. So, you understood now what is the difference between dependent and independent, I guess. Simply speaking, with the replacement, it is independent. Without replacement, it is dependent. Now, you may have heard the term mutually exclusive, right? Mutually exclusive events. What is this mutually exclusive? Simply speaking, disjoined events, we can say disjoined. That this happens, that will not happen. Like even number and odd number are mutually exclusive. So, can you tell me mutually exclusive and independent events, are they same? What you think? They are same? Yes or no? Mutually exclusive events and independent events, are they same or not? What is your opinion or what do you think about it? Mention in the chat. Yeah, most of you are saying one more class on probability will be great. Okay, tomorrow's class will be probability. 
the link is already there in the uh, playlist but the title is permutation combination that will be changed to probability so um, you will get update just uh, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get update so what is okay some of you are saying mutually exclusive and uh, independent are same some of you are saying they are not same or many of you are saying it is not same yes obviously it is not same mutually exclusive and independent are not same the difference between them i will show you the difference between mutually exclusive and independent events i will show you one second okay independent just means not related not related means this thing happened that have nothing to do with next thing happening like when you toss a coin when you get head that have nothing to do with what you will get next time or virat kohli one toss four times continuously by calling heads that does not mean next time when he called heads he have an extra chance to win the toss no it is independent not related that is independent but mutually exclusive is if this happens that will not happen that is the meaning of mutually exclusive like even number and odd number they are mutually exclusive events even number occur kar raha to odd number nahi occur kar sakta hai na same time at the same time they both cannot happen together they are disjoint sets even number odd number ka set disjoint hai but this is not mutually exclusive odd number and less than 4 when you throw a dice that is what i am saying when you throw a dice the occurrence of odd number and occurrence of even sorry number less than 4 they are not mutually exclusive because there is at least one element which is common when this happen this can also happen for which case odd number less than 4 is there now 1 and 3 1 and 3 can occur so they are not mutually exclusive but these are mutually exclusive but independent is a totally different things they have nothing in nothing to say that this and that are same or this and that are different they are totally different things like we say tomato and a bridge both are two different things now so same way so some people have this misunderstanding that mutually exclusive and independent are same no independent i have given enough examples like when you pick up that ball from the box or sock from the box getting red and if you are replacing it and taking again red or again another ball or another sock it is independent event first result have nothing to do with the second result but mutually exclusivity we say about the same event itself or same pick itself when you toss a coin probability of getting a number less than 4 or when you toss a coin probability of getting a number head getting head and getting tail they are mutually exclusive so hope that difference also uh is clear independent simply means not related mutually exclusive means cannot occur together i think uh, by this much we can conclude if any doubts are there please mention in the chat exactly takesh very good very well explained so tomorrow also we will continue with probability tomorrow two free classes are there one 11 am in the unacademy youtube channel second 6 pm in this youtube channel in this youtube channel i will share the video of tomorrow 11 am class also probability itself will be the topic so today and tomorrow's two lectures together we can come uh, conclude this topic thank you uddhav so thank you riya so happy to see more and more people more people than yesterday also yeah spread the word more and more yeah this will be a full length course yeah it will not be in between it will not be paid course or anything it's a full length pre course initiative i am co uh, conducting as much as my health uh, health is okay i will continue this course health is okay the problem is daily uh, the um, already there are three classes running daily of almost one and half hours that is almost 5 hour class will be there daily after that i have to spare this time so uh, if it if possible till your gate exam i will be there for you for you to uh, therefore supporting you so all of you 
be confident about your general aptitude section. I will help you out as much as I can in the upcoming classes. Please let your friends know. Please let more people come to this classes. That will be very, that will be a good help for my, sorry, my channel also because I am taking this live classes after a lot of, sorry, after few months in this channel because regular free classes in Unacademy is running for the last two, three years. That is why my channel classes also was not running. So many students were also asking to give you free, free content in this channel. That is why I thought like gate general aptitude full course can be a good thing for all of you. Thank you so much, Manish. Thank you all of you for the uh, love and support. So, uh, as I told, be part of our Telegram channel, WhatsApp group and uh, YouTube community for further learning. And if you have any suggestions, you can mail me in my email ID, christy1710 at gmail.com. Or, yeah, my website is christyvergus.in. There also there is an option to uh, send your suggestions. Or info at christyvergus.in. There also you can mail me. So, any other doubts or anything? Yes, Kirti, I will try my maximum to continue this course till your gate exam also. The thing is that I am... Uh, in Unacademy, I am teaching in the CSAR UGC net category. So, CSAR UGC net exam is also coming very soon. The gate and CSAR net exam is coming almost in a gap of one week. So, when CSAR net exam happens, maybe that week I will be sparing more time in the platform, the, more time in the Unacademy platform and may be able to, may not be able to take one or two lectures in a week or still I will try to take at least four lectures in a week. Next three weeks, definitely daily classes except Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday also, if possible, I will try to arrange. Monday to Friday, you can just think. Monday to Friday, these three weeks classes will be there. Saturday, Sunday, I will inform you tomorrow whether this Saturday, Sunday classes will be there. Thank you, Shalini, and thank you all of you. Thank you all of you for the good words. Thank you all of you for the wonderful comments. So again, uh, yeah, I think that's it. No other doubts or anything. So, probability we will learn more in tomorrow's class also. So, see you all in the next class. This recording will be available in this platform. So, you can share this video to all your uh, BTEC aspirant friends, uh, BTEC gate aspirant friends, and MSc gate aspirant friends. All science stream and all BTEC stream gate general aptitude is common. This is a thing that many people don't know clearly. They think that gate general aptitude for pure science is different from gate general aptitude BTEC stream. No, both are same. They share the same time slot itself. So that is why any of your friends, any of your relatives who are preparing for gate, whether it is BTEC aspirants or MSc aspirants, invite them to this upcoming free classes and share the video of today's and yesterday's class so that they can watch the recording of this also. And again, subscribe the channel, like the video, hit the bell icon. Thank you all of you. Take care all of you. See you all on the next class tomorrow 11 a.m. and tomorrow 6 p.m. Check out the links in the description of this video for getting further updates. So thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night.